Brooklyn. Hey guys, from Cute Girls Hairstyles. And today we're gonna be doing a fab or fail. And we're going to be demoing the split ender. Now we've had like a million people request that we do this because I think this machine's a little terrifying for the general public because it actually cuts your hair. And so everyone wants somebody else to try it first before they actually <laughs> do it in their own hair. Me. So yeah, Brooklyn's gonna be I'm doing the guinea pig. Today. So we're gonna tell you whether it works, give it a fab or a fail. But before we do that, don't forget that Camry has officially started her Camry Noel channel. If you wanna see some of her awesome videos, you can click this information button right there. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Let's go. Okay, this is what it looks like when it comes. It comes with the actual split ender, a hair clip, a comb, and a little brush to clean out the dirty ends um, when you're done using it. And the instructions say split ender will only work on clean, dry hair. It's not intended for daily use, just for damaged hair ends only. And you're supposed to comb your hair free of tangles before using. So we're gonna go ahead and unpackage. Maybe. Okay, so here's the actual split ender. Right there. Let me get that out. Here's our nifty little comb they sent. And a clip. And the brush, which are really in there tight. Okay, now the split ender itself has this little comby part right here that you put the hair through when it's unlocked, I'll show you. See, that's where you put the hair in and close it. It has the blades inside and this little thing to catch all the loose ends of hair. Then it has a directional switch right here. You can change left or right and a lock button on the bottom so you can lock it so that you can't get your hair in there and somebody couldn't accidentally cut their hair. It says on the directions, it's really important to remember the direction that you're going. It always wants you to have it pointing towards the arrow towards the ground. So if I'm holding it like this, then I would be flipping it to this direction, the blades. And if I were holding it like this, then I would need to flip it this way so the arrows show towards the ground. First, the directions say to separate off a small section of hair. Brooklyn obviously doesn't have thin hair. So we're going to pull some of hers up and out of the way to create a little bit thinner sections. And then it says to make sure that they're nice and smooth and combed out. So if you have curly hair, my recommendation would be blow dry and probably straighten your hair before you use this. We have her hair already now. I'm gonna just divide off a little smaller section right here to the side. Like this. And then I'm gonna get the split ender ready. Now I'm gonna be going like this, so I wanna make sure the directional button is going down. I need to unlock it so that I can put her hair in. And just so you know, in the spirit of full disclosure, I have tried this on my own hair just before filming this, just to make sure it wasn't gonna like chop her hair off. Yeah. So she wasn't. I was gonna, scared. She was like, you can't do this on my I hair. I was like, it better not sure. chop my hair off. Yeah. So we know it's not gonna chop hair at this point. Like, we're just gonna trim it. It's not too bad. So we're gonna put our hair into the middle of the split ender. Remember my direction's pointing down like this and then squeeze it and run it all the way down her hair. And you can go over it even more than once if you feel like you didn't get a good pass the first time. Like that. Now we're gonna get another section and continue to do the same thing. So if your hair isn't already smooth, then you wanna just comb it out beforehand because you really wanna make sure the split ender, at least on the directions, it says that it just runs very smoothly through the hair, which it is on Brooklyn's. Yeah. Okay, so that layer's done and we're gonna just move up her hair. Okay, this is our last little strand and I wanted Brooklyn to really feel the texture of her ends. Her hair is colored, so she has like a little bit of damage on her ends, so I wanted her to feel it, really get a feel for it, and then I'm gonna run it through the split ender and see if she can tell a difference. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna run it through, and it does say on the packaging you can run it through a couple times. So I do one full strand and then a cup like twice just over the ends. So there's that same piece, Brooks. Feel it and see if you notice any difference. Feels a lot smoother. Okay, I can see some hair in there. Yeah. And now it's time to see if it really worked and how much it cut off. So we're going to open this top part. And then we're going to 
has a little top, little trap door thing right here. So try to brush the blades off here. Okay, so you can see after all that running, that's pretty much it for her hair. And it really literally is just like the bottom, maybe eight or one fourth of her hair strands. It's just the tiniest, tiniest end. It's like really big. Yeah, it's not very big at all. So definitely didn't have like a scary haircut moment here. Nope. We just barely trimmed up the ends. Okay, so here's my conclusion about the split ender. I definitely think that it worked. It wasn't as terrifying as we thought it might be. It made my ends smoother. It definitely made her ends smoother and feel better, but it's not gonna replace, like if your hair's really damaged, like up two or three inches, it's just not gonna work because yeah. you just need to go get a haircut. Yeah. So I think this would be great for like in between your regular hair trims if you're trying to keep your hair healthy and you're just noticing a few split ends from like heat damage. Definitely think it would work then. The trickiest part for me actually in using the machine was putting the back together. Like after I cleaned it out, putting it back together was a little like difficult. It just was weird to snap it in. But other than that, I'm definitely gonna give it a fab. What do you? Me too, cause I can feel the difference in my hair a little bit. So I'm gonna give it a fab too. Definitely. So it gets a double fab thumbs up. Now, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you love these kinds of videos. Don't forget that you can find more of us and Camry over right here in the information button. And we will see you guys next week. Bye guys. Bye.